So if I were to go around over here, we can see that there's audio over here on this very clip, right? Uh, just like this. So if I were to go around and then expand this, so let me just go around and then expand the audio, then you can see the audio over here as well. So if I were to go around and press the play button, you do hear out the audio. And if you want to work around with the audio settings, you can go around over here and then double click on the audio right here. So over here, you can see that you can control out the clip volume right here. You can go around and reduce the volume and you can also see the audio wave chains right here, as you can see, just like this. So you can go around and play this. The audio volume is much more lower, as you can see, just like this. You can go around and mute out the audio as well. So in that case, you don't hear out any audio and you can go to advanced setting over here as well. So you can change this from music type to, let's say, voice if you have a voice over and uh, similar settings will be applied and others as well, as you can see. But in my case, this is a music itself. So I'm going to go to music and here you can see that you can set it to auto volume right here, uh, just like this. And then you can go around onto auto duck over here, just like this as well. So if I were to go around and then play this, it's uh, like auto, auto volume and auto duck is applied right here. We are going to learn more about Autoduck in the later videos. So I'm just going to go around onto channel right here. And here you can see the left and right channels, as you can see, just like this as well. So there's left channel and right channel. And you can see that there are two channels. And in case of mono audio, then you'll only see one channel right here. So over here, uh, this is how you can go around and then work around with the audio settings inside of Adobe Premiere Rust. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.